Petra Highlands fall decorating of our mud room. So I wanted to do something a little different. If you watch some previous boards, I usually do charcuterie boards and I love that. However, today I want to show you a super quick, easy way to decorate your small space. And this can be kind of anything. Maybe your foyer, today we're doing our mud room. It can also be just a little wall, maybe with a little small table in front of a wall where you can hang up some decorations. Uh, just a couple of things. We did make a little run to a few places to pick up some stuff, but if you have any kind of fall colors in your house, such as blankets, maybe some pine cones, some wreaths, um, if you're at the grocery store, pick up a couple of pumpkins. Anyway, I'm sure you have some fall things sitting around your house and you probably don't even realize you have them. For example, maybe some wicker baskets, um, if you have some just some cute books that are brown, maybe you have a pillow or like again a blanket that are in fall colors, you can kind of use anything. Let your imagination just go wild. That's what I love about decorating and cooking is that my imagination is not limited at all. I can just go crazy. So let's get right to it. So first we went ahead and we did purchase some things like I said earlier. We went to Hobby Lobby, I believe. They do have a 50% off of one item, so I'm always excited about that. Um, we did a run to the Dollar Tree. You can find some great little pumpkins, some great fall stuff, and you can't beat a dollar, right? Um, yeah, we just kind of went around and gathered a few things just to make this um, look very fallish, and I hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see, we're gonna start with one of our mudrooms here. We're in one of our models here at Overjaw Highlands. Um, beautiful um, mudroom, gorgeous, already fall color if you think about it. This kind of a muted gray, muted brown. I absolutely love it. Somewhat modern with the beaded backboard. So let's get started. So over here, I have a few things. I'm gonna reach up, gonna grab some stuff, and we're just gonna kind of go with it. And I'm glad you're along for the ride. So here we go. So I'm actually going to start off, so if I do come in and out of the camera, it's just me coming to the side and picking out some things that we have. So what I have here is some of these plastic leaves, and with these plastic leaves, um, I'm actually going to fill up the space. This space for us here um, allows for some great decoration, decorating here. I'm just going to unravel. These are two different colors, so we're actually going to uh, make it just a little bit Polish, we're gonna bring it, and I'm just gonna kind of drape down the side just a little bit to add a little detail here and have it stick. Oops. So let's make it stay. There we go. And then on this side, I'm gonna add my red and kind of intertwine it, interchange it just a little bit. Again, have it kind of pop down. Um, wanted to choose two different colors, but again, if that bothers you, definitely can use the same colors up here, but you'll see what I did with the other ones to kind of balance it out. So the next thing, we're not done. I feel really tall, by the way. But anyway, we're gonna move on and we're gonna get some of these cute. And over here, what I have is, okay, so you guys look. These might be a little scary, but I think they're super cute. And come on, squirrels, brown squirrels with acorns fall, it goes. So we want our little guys to be up here hanging out, looking over everybody that comes in and visits you in your apartment. So just adding, again, just some kind of a, a feature, just adding, it's gonna draw your eye up and then eventually what I'm hoping is gonna bring your eye down and then you'll capture everything else, okay? So moving on. So we have these lovely, lovely wreaths, okay? Super gorge. Now you've got a couple of options here. I'm gonna balance ours out. Um, so anything, what I recommend doing is you can get one of those peel and sticks uh, so you're not messing and cooling off the paint. They sell them all over, Home Depot, Lowe's, any kind of uh, decorator store, Michael's, Joann's, but it's those, um, the, the suction cup. Very easy, won't ruin your walls. But what I did is I actually used one of our additional little leaves up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda get back up here and bring that around. And then on this side, I'm going to bring the other one. Again, one wreath works great. You can definitely put one wreath right there in the middle. All right, I can kind of tell that this is not quite even, so we're going to make that just a little loop. Listen, that's pretty close, okay. With all the other decorations, so I'm just going to kind of clean up my little area just a little bit. 
and we're going to move on. All right, so you can already tell that we've already kind of started with some fun features here. Now let's go ahead. Now this is a great opportunity. If you have a fall colored blanket, how cute. You don't need a wreath. You could actually just hang a couple of fall blankets here and add some beautiful pumpkins here and maybe a little pillow, fall pillow here and you're done. Well, we're going to go ahead and deck this out to the T, okay? So we'll be right back. Let me get some more stuff over here. So bear with me. Now guys, <laughs> I found this around the apartment. I thought, okay, nothing screams. If it's not gonna work, I'm gonna remove it. Again, I'm kind of just going with the flow with what we have. This was not planned, so apologies ahead of time. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and place that right here. I think it's super cute. Outside woods, it makes me think of the cold fall weather, so definitely something here for that. And I'm just gonna start to build. with my pumpkins. All right, guys, so as you can kind of see here, I feel like this needs some height, right? So what I'm gonna do is I've actually got some great little ideas what to use for a basket that I found. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab one of my cute little baskets, and I'm gonna turn it just like so, and now I can add my pumpkin. So now it's starting to kind of look like it's got a little bit of height, and I think, yeah, and so from here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of my little plastic pumpkins. Um, I'm gonna reach right over here in front of you guys. And just kind of add some different, maybe some different kind of uh, pumpkins over here. Just kind of real cute, cute, cute. Um, always welcoming friends, maybe just kind of add one there. We're gonna keep building, you guys. Keep, keep building all my pumpkins. Listen, I sing horribly, sorry, you guys. I was just getting into the fall spirit. So anyway, let's just kind of see what we can do, yeah? Again, just kind of playing around. Ooh, I like that, that's coming across, that's looking good. I don't know if you can see what I did over here, but I'm starting to stack. I love a good stack pumpkin, you guys, and I'm not done, right? So we're just gonna keep moving on. And again, we want all of our friends to feel welcome. So I have another super cute basket. I'm just gonna kind of turn that upside down. And we're gonna kind of keep building. So you guys wait, this is, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting a little too excited, you guys, okay? Getting a little too excited. I don't know if that's a real thing, if that's even possible, you guys. All right, so that one's not, that one doesn't wanna play nice. So we're just gonna kind of do something like that for right now. But with these two things right here, I kind of feel like I'm, this is screaming, come up to the corners. Yes, it's working, it's working. All right, guys, so we're gonna do with these, and don't forget, we are gonna decorate down here. I have not forgotten. Maybe a little too much. We're just gonna do this here. Yeah, I kind of want a small pumpkin here. And yeah, let's see. Okay, we're moving along. Moving along. All right, you guys. So Look how cute these gourds are. Oh my gosh, so cute. Just kind of adding and adding and adding. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to go with the green to give it something a little different, right? And then from here, what we're going to do is I think we're just going to kind of start to decorate a little bit in here as well. Let's see what else do we have over here. Oh, we got more little pumpkins. And so we have a white one over here. I think I'm gonna pull this one down here and add that to there. Will this one fit on top? No. I feel like this is screaming for a little pumpkin though right here. Let's see, what do we have under? Hmm. There we go. Yeah. There. 
Listen, I feel like my gourd is being a little difficult, so I'm going to stick them in the corner. Time out for the gourd. I know that's cheesy. This goes here. I'm going to put that there. And two here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're looking good. All right, so let's decorate down here now. So we've got that. We're going to add some more little pumpkins, maybe a little basket. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So... Right now, I kind of feel like this is looking pretty cute. What do you think, Heidi? Thumbs up? Thank you, Heidi, for videoing, by the way. Heidi's our live sales coordinator. She's always great. Um, helps me out with all the deck. And we actually have more pumpkins down here. Um, can you have too many pumpkins for Halloween? Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. This is like super little. He's going there. I love it. All right. The more pumpkins, the better. You guys, I think we're done. I think I have enough pumpkins now. So um, go ahead, check it out. See what you think. Again, there's so many different options. Definitely pumpkin overload, but I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending time with me this afternoon. I had so much fun. Again, finding these things around your house, anything fall, colors, works. It doesn't have to be this much. A simple pumpkin in the corner, maybe with a little wreath. All you need, and it's wonderful. So, I hope you've enjoyed.